Hey, what's up? Lightbolt Joe here. Today we are going to discuss the 2015 action adventure thriller film Pixels. This is a 1492 Happy Madison Productions uh, feature film. This debuted theatrically. It's directed by Chris Columbus. I'm hit or miss with Chris Columbus. He did the first two Harry Potters. He did the Percy Jackson movies, which we don't talk about. He did Home Alone. Um, he directed this film. Like, this is an incredible movie. So there's Adam Sandler. Um, Josh Gad is in, is in this. Kevin James is in this. Peter Dinklage is in this. Many, many more people are in this. It's incredible. And it does not get as much credit as it deserves. It's It's all about 1980s video games. And how there's this alien race that sees a video footage of the 1982 arcade you know championship that all of those four main actors as kids participated in peter dinklage won by cheating um, but adam sandler's character of sam brenner um would have won the donkey kong challenge but the aliens that uh, incepted the the uh tape that nasa had sent up assumed it was a declaration of war in 1982 but uh it was not so aliens come to earth as these blocks these cubes of light energy and they cannot be harmed by bullets so how do you defeat light energy with light cannons obviously so uh kevin james plays this character who is the president of the united states which is hysterical and so he comes up with uh this group of arcaders from all the kids that played in the 80s you know championship who are adults now. So Josh Gad, Adam Sandler, and Peter Dinklage. And so they now need to team up with, you know, the U.S. military to devise plans to defeat the games because the aliens are saying how there's going to be three battles with three lives because that's how a game is. And uh, the first game is Centipede. The second game is Pac-Man through New York City. It was incredible watching them play ghosts by driving Mini Coopers as ghosts. It was like ghost... Uh, light energy around the car so cool but peter dink was cheated so therefore the aliens declared victory and then there was massive massive surplus of 1980s arcade game characters attacking washington dc and then the arcaders have to play donkey kong as the final redemption challenge cubert is a spoil of war <laughs> so cubert then eventually turns into lady lisa and josh gad and lady lisa wind up getting married it's an hour and 45 minutes long. It's super fast. It's never boring. Yeah, it's like whimsical at times because it's an Adam Sandler film, right? But Chris Columbus knows how to do action stuff, right? So this was a great action film. The The, the soundtrack is incredible. The score of music is very Avengers-y with the brass section, right? That kind of thing. Like, it's so amazing to watch and be a part of and i remember seeing this in the theaters i was very excited seeing this in the theaters and it did not do well it didn't do well in theaters the critics hated it it's based off of a short french film i don't understand why no one talks about this movie because this is a great movie there's not many arcade video game movies like we have wreck it ralph we have wreck it ralph 2 we have ready player one which is very exciting we have pixels we have tron Tron's more computer, it's not more video game, but it's still the same concept. And, like, there's a few others sprinkled here and there, but, like, this is, like, pop culture before Ready Player One was pop culture. Like, it brought a lot of the nostalgia to it. I love arcades. It kills my soul that I have not stepped into a Dave & Buster's since March 14th of this year. It's a Saturday because I was in Disneyland March 13th, which was a Friday, 2020, which was the last day the park was open to the public and it's still closed. And it, the pandemic has just destroyed anything fun indoors, basically. It's, it's weird. It's weird knowing these things, but good memories. I, I, I love being in the dark, playing games with all of these random noises from all over every direction. There's black lights and neon lights and just random things everywhere. It's just organized chaos and i love it i love it i've always wanted to own my own arcade and just have that kind of dark yet whimsy you know aesthetic with the the crazy carpets and the and the you know neon lights random random shapes all over the place and like just like the games lined up in rows and like you know you could chill with your friends in corners and stuff like i just i've always wanted an arcade like that uh and that's it.
2015 Pixels. Go watch it if you haven't seen it. I love this movie. You should too. Uchi mahalo.